Clifford's Tower in York. By day, a fortress that stands guard over the city. By night, a beacon that can be seen for miles. Which is why we're here, below it. I'm genuinely really quite nervous now. Because yeah. this is, yeah. like, I mean, there's been three police cars drive by. There's been three police cars and we've a lot got of rough boys in cars. Yeah, that's one way of putting and it. And it's big. We assembled our team nearby. What we were planning would take coordination, timing, and cardboard. Grab a bit of cardboard. We're going to go up the steps of the tower. When you get up there, what we're doing isn't technically illegal. <laughs> right, ready? Yeah. Go! And, just like that, the tower disappeared. But we weren't done yet. Right. Boys in cars stuff. Yeah. My heart was pounding, and it took us a few minutes, but our team did it. We turned Clifford's Tower into the biggest Morse code beacon in the world. And the message we flashed out to the tens of thousands of people of the city of York. The word booms. Get all the cardboard leaving no evidence whatsoever, we made a run for it down the side of the bank. We had no idea what it looked like from below. That's a real police sign, by the way. Our lookout at the bottom told us how we'd done. I thought, I thought we lost an O, but are you sure? We had two O's. I think it was two O's. We had two O's. Sam. It worked! Yes! <laughs> OK, let's go. Let's get out of here. We don't want to forget. And we have some of the team that helped us with that in the studio tonight. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Is this synchronised? I have morning. waited so in long for that moment. It's synchronised in a certain sense. I'm in the way two men can be. I am too. But, Tom, that was yeah. something, wasn't it, that? That was brilliant. It, it worked. And uh, what I like is halfway through that, just, the, just it comes back on for the first time. Someone's uh, gear change misses in the car. <laughs> I didn't catch that. But what I like is that someone driving past who looked at it and went, What? Is that the <laughs> also, did, yeah. doing that, can I just say, Tom, one of the things that will abide with me of that night is you shouting behind me, This isn't technically illegal! <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> I think if a police car had come near there, the only sound would have, we would have heard is that of your footsteps fast <laughs> belting in the opposite <laughs> direction. We did, we did kind of have an emergency uh, call for if, if, if the cops came. So hang, hang on, hang on. At the end, where is you know, you've done your dramatic monologue all the way through, which I appreciate greatly, Thank by you. the way. Have you Thank considered you. doing film? Are you? Ah, there I was in the jungles of York, <laughs> and we just created a stone semaphore tower. <laughs> That's a real police siren. <laughs> but it was in Selby! <laughs> <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is the magic of television. <laughs>